Module 4, Segment 4, Quoting from Inventory. In this training segment, you will work from within the inventory window to prepare a quotation to a customer and record pricing from a vendor. These functions are most often used when you are talking directly to customers and vendors over the telephone. Please note that this session assumes you have already reviewed Modules 1, 2, 3, and Module 4, Segments 1, 2, and 3. To begin, we will open a Master Inventory record. Select the Inventory icon arrow and select Browse. The Find for Master Part Entries window opens. Type the part number and select OK. The Browsing Master Part Entries window opens, displaying all parts that meet your search criteria. Double-click on the part number to select it. The Master Inventory record opens. We'll first record the customer quote. Select the Quote Action button. The Which Type window opens. Select Customer from the menu. The Browsing Customer Quotes window opens, displaying all existing quotes. This allows you to insert this part as a new line on an existing quote. We will create a new customer quote by selecting Add. The Find for Browsing Company Entries window opens. Type the customer's name in the Company Name field and select OK. The Browsing Company Entries window opens, listing all companies that match the name you typed. Double-click anywhere on the line to select the company. The Adding New Customer Quote window opens. Complete this window as directed in Module 4, Segment 1, and select OK to continue. Press Enter through the Part Number field and select the Sale Type radio box. After doing this, the part details are filled into the screen. Review the stock lines that are available and double-click the stock line you wish to quote the customer. Double-check your currency sale price, delivery, and markup fields. If everything is correct and complete, select OK to save the quote. You will be returned to the inventory window, where you will now be able to see the quote history you have just recorded. If the customer inquires about another part, select the Find Action button and type in the next part number requested. Once the part is open, select Quote. Notice this time another option is available. Use Customer Quote Number. Selecting this option will add this part number as the next item on the same customer quotation. Again, press Enter through the Part Number field. Select Type, select the Stock Line, and check All Costing and Pricing. Select OK to save the quote. If you wish to open the customer quote, highlight the quote number displayed in the History grid and select Inspect. If you wish to call a vendor for pricing, you may create a vendor quote from the inventory to record the vendor's quote directly. Please note that you may not print an RFQ to the vendor using this method. Select the Quote Action button and then select Vendor. The Vendor Quote window opens. Click on the Code Table button to select the vendor you wish to call. The Find for Browsing Company Entries window opens. Type in the vendor's name and select OK. The Browsing Company Entries window opens, listing all companies that match the name you typed. Double-click anywhere on the line to select the vendor of choice.
Notice that the phone number is displayed on the browser, so you do not have to perform another step to retrieve this information. Type in all significant data such as availability, delivery, answer date, and cost. Select OK to save the information and return to the inventory window. We now see the new vendor quote on the history grid attached to the master inventory record. To recap what we learned in this lesson, we added a new quote for a customer and recorded pricing from a vendor working directly from inventory. You may now proceed to Module 5, Segment 1, Creating a Sales Order from a Customer Quote.